This video will show you the scanning process with IR mode of EinScan H2. Taking the Kylan sculpture as a sample, its dark brown and reflective surface is usually hard to be captured by most visible structure light 3D scanning. While with the IR mode of EinScan H2, the invisible infrared light with longer wavelength has great anti-interference capability to get high-quality data. Create a new project group to enter the scanning interface. If you want to continue scanning the existing project group, click Open Project Group. Select Object Scan Mode, Large Object Size is recommended for scanning size over 300mm 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 like this lion sculpture. Set Features Alignment Mode when the object has rich geometric features. We can select a high resolution for getting better data detail when you want to save the rich geometric features. Just we noted that the higher resolution is, the denser the point clouds will be, and it will take more RAM and longer time calculating. Finally, turn on the texture scan if needed. You can check the online user manual for more information. Next, we enter the scanning interface. We suggest you to turn on data quality indicator. It will help you assess better data quality. Green indicates enough points captured, while red means lacking of points. Adjust the working distance to get a suitable field of view. Press the start button once to start preview. In the preview, press the upper button at the back panel of the scanner to zoom in for checking the details. Press the start button again to start scanning. During scanning, keep scanner cameras looking straight at the scanning area. Rotate the turntable slowly in case of any movement of the object. When the scanning is finished, press the start button again to pause the scan. Hold down the left mouse button to rotate the scan data to see if it is complete. Check if there is redundant data. Create a cutting plane to delete the background. Using connected domain and, and invert functions to quickly select the redundant data. The selected data will be in red. Then delete it. Click Optimize and Generate Point Clouds. If single scan cannot get a complete data model, create a new project to complement the remaining parts. Adjust the angle of the object to scan bottom side of the chylon. Delete the redundant data. Click Optimize and Generate Point Clouds. More projects can be created for scanning other remaining parts. Try different positions and angles so more missing parts can be scanned. Optimize and generate point clouds. Now align the three point clouds to get a complete model. Click align on the right side of the software to enter the project alignment interface. Select two project files in fixed window and floated window. Choose feature alignment and click apply. Alignment will be performed automatically. Please make sure there are enough shared areas between models with feature alignment. In the case of feature alignment failed, Please try manual alignment as a supplement. 
For more alignment information, please refer to online user manual. Click next to align the next project until the final one is finished. Close the alignment interface. Check the model and make sure there is no misalignment. You will see mesh settings after clicking the mesh button. The software will close all holes according to the captured data if you choose watertight. If raw data is needed, please select unwatertight, and unclosed model will stay the way it is scanned. Apply the settings. Here you get the mesh data. Click Confirm. By clicking the switch at the right side of the software, you are able to show or hide the texture for better checking the data detail.